Good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Good to see you all again. Um, a quick um, video this time, video share of my new um, day books, my summer day book. Um, so I've just finished my spring, uh, um, a spring day book, and um, which is was an altered, an altered um, sort of journal, which has been chunked up to the eyeballs and um, uh, covered in vintage fabric and uh, yeah has served me well I've loved working in it this time round I've decided to go for this little beauty which is um, pre-made so I actually have had it for about 18 months and it's a, a book a journal made from a cereal box oh, let's undo it made from a cereal box and um, I've just basically added to it. Now, there is a flip through of this um, because I made it 18 months ago with the our home ed group. Um, we did a little project with some of the families uh, getting the kids into journaling, which was fab. So um, there'll be a flip through link below of uh, a page by page flip through. And it actually looked like this before. But what I've done since then is I've uh, covered it. Um, I loved it. I loved the um, the cover, but it was the autumn when we made it. Um, but the actual journal is filled with colour, uh, vibrant colour, filled with lovely things. Um, and so it's an ideal summer journal. So I have remade, uh, recovered it and added this beautiful, um, beautiful uh, postcard. No, it's not postcard. It's a greetings card. I absolutely love it. I think to me it embodies um, summer and holidays to the coast. Um, I absolutely loved it. So I I covered it. Uh, I placed that on there. I actually took the fabric from oh, this little uh, lovely here. Um, these was uh, it's like a little um, collection of fabrics, upholstery fabric samples that I picked up in uh, the charity shop. Um, and this is one of the I cut that out. That was that was a contender for the cover, um, and they're beautiful. But definitely, definitely summer, definitely summer themed um, uh, designs. Um, although some of the florals, I must admit, could maybe find their way into a cheeky on the cover of a cheeky autumn journal. Perhaps there's a lovely brown. I think I have my eye on a brown floral which could appear, see that could be kind of autumn, couldn't it? But anyway, so I chose the, oh, these are so absolutely gorgeous. I chose the blue to this um, with the ghosting of the, because oh, I kind of went for, or looked at a gingham, um, but anyway, that's another story. So this is the fabric, this is the, the blue to this green, if you can see here, that I chose to cover. Um, and then I went over the spine just with some lace. I don't think it's vintage, but some lace I had in my stash. So I went over the spine in that and um, popped the hole in the eye, the eyelet and what's his name on here and chose just a little variety of these elastic, just different elastic colours um, just to pick out some of the colours in the card. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and then I also decided um, because, you know, like a greetings card has a little strip on the back. So I've made a little um, bookmark, which I've not, I haven't done before actually for um, the journals, and I popped this little this little uh, this bead I've had for years, and this little dangle from an uh, an old necklace, vintage necklace I ha I've had for years. And so the idea is that I, as I'm using the journal, I'm going to just basically place it wherever I've been using it, which is going to be great. It'll be great. So um, I've added two. So I did, as I said, there's a flip by. Uh, a page by page flip through of the journal um but i've added to i've added to the um pages for, for june so i thought i'd go through them and you might like to have a look so little pocket here i've popped uh popped there and i thought i'd keep some of the things i'm going to use um over the next few months i've just thought i'd pop them in there i'm going to keep those here but i just wanted you to see so the the inside was like um, from a page from my vintage 
home book that I use lots and lots. And this beautiful uh, image was from a Daphne's diary that I've had, I put a by for years. I tore the page out, I had it for years and it just looks beautiful as the first page of this um, journal. And I think it's a really lovely summer, uh, uh, a start to a summer journal. So pages for June. So all I did here is um, I added just um, a little sticker and the lovely, I love these um, uh, metallic alphabet, um, metallic alphabet uh, numbers and letters, summer 2023, I did these and then I've just gone through and uh, again I added that and just the, the numbers again, the metallic numbers all the way through. This was from an old, um, I think it was an AA um, book about the countryside, the AA or Shell. Um, and I've used pages from it in different journals, different personal journals, because I just love, the, I just absolutely adore the images. So um, this is beautiful, it's a beautiful page. And I think, where's the other side to it? Where's the other side to it? Uh, would that be here? Yeah, that's just just the, yeah, it wasn't very big, so I've just popped that through there anyway. So beautiful. Um, this was, um, these were some uh, hand-dyed pap papers that I had. Uh, we experimented just using different um, uh, ink pads, you know, ink pads that are on their way out. Um, I think I experimented with those and it's quite, quite nice. Beautiful colour actually, and I, I just tried to tie in with that. Stickers, and this was from my Daphne's diary, uh, my Daphne's diary diary. This I think was from Daphne's diary itself, one of them. And this is the June overview. So this is the cover for the June overview, which I think is really pretty, it's rather jolly, isn't it? I've just added, and I covered up. I think June was in white font, but it wasn't in your face enough for, for my liking so I've just gone over it and so I've got the overview here for the month and um, basically I popped this is again from Daphne's diary diary uh, I think but yeah I love that I love I just love those colors and so I have I, oh, have I done it have I done that yeah have I done it like that is that the way to do it do you know I can't remember now uh, yeah that's from Daphne's diary. Love it. Um, so these were cards, like postcards. There's another one I think I've got tucked in to use later on, maybe in July or August. These are pages from Daphne's diary, just sort of um, decorative pages, and they were beautiful. They went in. This is a card from a friend. This is from a, a book. Do you know, this is a real um collection it were a real kind of junk journal it was a collection of all sorts that i had um so that was quite a nod to autumn but i love the colors and i've just popped one of these lovely ladies on there because i just love the way the colors coordinate and uh yeah sticker so this is definitely just before uh before the pen and um what's that different yeah have I got something in there? This was like just from a little um, book of uh, paint books. Was it Farron Ball or the other one? Oh, it's another one. Uh, little design books, you know, for paints. And I just love, love them. And I've used those over the years in my journals. I think they're beautiful. That's the wallpaper on the back. The wallpaper design. This is a little card. I bought a set in so a charity shop haul, probably... I reckon four, five years ago, and um, a couple of put on our, uh, my daughter's Spanish books, but I loved the colours, and I thought that would look nice in there. Um, yeah, it would look lovely in there, uh, so that's where I've popped it, on this black page. Or we put, I use dark pages sometimes with the idea of writing on them with white pen, but I never get round to it, so I've just popped that on. And then a, diff, a page from the, uh, well, it, from the Daphne's Diary Diary I've just stuck on there I thought that looked lovely this is a little vintage book I have on English country gardens I think I've used I've used a few copies over the years in my diaries in my journals I love it absolutely love it and did I dye this was it just some I think just the colour of uh, paper that I had in my stash 
and this is um, a part of a haul a craft to share with from a friend that I've done the video on um, which you'll probably see probably just posted um, part of Becky's uh, um, haul it's a beautiful beautiful uh, paper and this page was all about autumn I love the images but as it's not autumn I've just covered it over I just done a bit of layering to cover it over beautiful isn't it beautiful beautiful absolutely gorgeous center page for that signature and again just a little bit of coffee dyed paper and this i think is from is it mr marshall's flower book i've used that quite regularly i love it i absolutely adore that book i think it is i think it's from mr about mr um Again, if you notice, it's got autumn there, but I don't care because it's lovely. Uh, what have we have got here? Now, this, I think, was something from Daphne's diary. Mm, was it in a couple of issues ago? I just love the colours. So I thought that looked nice on that black page. And there's another one here that I think I'm probably just going to save and use for July or August. I think that's going to look lovely. Popped in somewhere here. So this was um, this was the back of graphics uh, graphics forty five uh, fast forward seasons I think it was, and this was a beautiful um, from big, huge magazine pages that I had. Oh, are you on Instagram? She's still on Instagram. Oh dear, can't remember, can't remember. But she sells sells all sorts of vintage pieces, and I I picked these ladies out. I've used quite a few pages. In journals to sell and I just kept these because I think they're beautiful and I like the way that the little lady here echoes that kind of style um, had these for ages this little card um, which I picked in the charity shop ages and ages and ages ago and um, yeah just stuck on a little page there I think that looks lovely and I thought you know summer holidays I really love that sticker just for my stash I popped that in Vintage page. Just done a little chip in. I think we were talking, um, we did a lot of um, different embellishment styles in the class, the homemade class that we did, homemade sessions. That was all just about tipping things in to create extra journaling space. I love this little man, this little um, car. It's like a little old Torah, doesn't it? Um, and I love the way it goes with this Daphne's diary paper and the pages. Oh, what that colour. So we, we, yeah, we were doing like tipping in and pockets. And so I created this and I popped these in. These are just from the works, I think, a little works paper pad. And yeah, we just did a bit of experiment. Left those in there. I shall probably pop a couple of other bits in there as well, to be honest, for storing um, to use at different times. Don't know that'd be too big. Anyway, I took that out of there and stuck it on here, tipped it in because I thought that would be really nice. the back of my greetings card and i thought these these three ladies would look nice on there and just pick up the the again this was daphne's diary uh daphne's diary sort of um decorating paper thing and uh, i just love the colors it's blue um and again this is like um, a greetings card and just tipped it in here because i loved the i loved the colors i love the colors and uh, old sticker that I found and just uh, yeah so this is from the vintage home book that's like a gift that keeps on giving really is and I thought these ladies look nice in those colors I put them on that's from my Amazon stickers that's the other side of that um, shell book on the countryside little sticker and again oh yeah i think that's just wrapped over we were just talking again it was just different things to do with your pages but that's um i did a sticker there sticker here that was the inside cover of the daphne's diary because the daphne's diary actually it was daphne's diary cover yeah it was daphne's diary cover i i've covered it i thought she looked gorgeous on the front absolutely beautiful and so 
that was the end of the first signature but it's we're still carrying on um i'm taking it through to the 27th of june i think this is stamperia this is stamperia this was the odds and ends from a convention journal collection that i did um, three years ago now yeah a while and this is a little book on watercolour, I think. Look, look, at, look at the inside of these beautiful, the other side of these beautiful stamp here. I just absolutely love, I absolutely love their pages. And this here was, um, again, I think this is about watercolour or drawing. It might have been that drawing, I'm not sure, but it's one of the many books that I have had over the years. And that I pulled out um, pages for um glue books um or sometimes just just to use because i love them i think it's absolutely beautiful i love it i love that it brings me joy i love the colors and i love the way it all fits in with tones in with the, uh, the stamperia this again was for, um something i had left over from a load of coffee journals i did that was a little while ago now i did some mini ones and some um some mini coffee box journal ju uh, journals and Traveller's Notebooks, I did some TNs, did a whole sort of collection. And uh, this was just one of the images left over. This is a, one of the books that I've used in a load of journals. Uh, time and time again, I love them, I love them. And what was this? Was this, this was Daphne's Diary. Yeah, Daphne's Diary, I love the colours. This is from um, a stash from Etsy. Uh, vintage peach, uh, pages that I got. Uh, from an Etsy seller, which I can't remember her name now. I'll try to remember, but it was a long while ago. And this was just a little tipping thing that I popped on there. That's the 30th. This is just a little um, envelope. Vellum envelope, isn't it? That's called, yeah. I'm going to pop some different things in. This was just a cutout from the uh, big book on vintage style. Vintage style? Uh, no shabby chic shabby chic i think shabby shabby home and um, i did loads of um i just went through one day and i cut loads of images out i've used some of the pages over the years this was years ago and uh, just part of my stash and i think that's it was that the 30th 30th of june i'm going to keep a few pages free and already I've pulled out the overview for July from Daphne's Diary. So I've just kind of pinned that in there with a few other bits and pieces I'm going to use. Yeah, that I'm going to use um, in the journal for July. And yeah, so there's some other bits. So, yeah. That's going to be July. Lots of bits. It's really chunky. Lots of bits sort of kind of just floating about which i'm probably i might use for any extra space that i might need for june um i'll just tip it in let me just pop that in because it's getting on my nerves let's just pop that on yeah that i might use it for june if i need any more space um i'll just tip it tip it in what are you doing what's going on here right then so that's it that is my um beginning of my summer day book that's the June pages. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the little share. I think I'm going to enjoy uh, working in this. I will um, come on again once we do. Um, I go in for July. I'll sh um, I'm hoping actually to perhaps use more in the way of fabric pieces. I think um, for July and August. I think I'm going to try and get that add some more texture and um as i did with these is it these yeah perhaps more in the way of uh, lace you know and fabric tabs and things on the side i think just to improve the side profile so that's it i hope you found this um useful you know you may have an old journal that you don't know what to do with or you haven't figured out what to do with yet resurrect it and add some bits for the summer so um yeah if you don't uh, thank you for joining me if you haven't um subscribed so far and you like what you see please press like and subscribe and uh for any of the sort of uh, videos that i have coming out but nice to see you guys i hope you're enjoying summer wherever you are 
having a little bit of sunshine here at last. Take care. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye. Oh, and also to say, oh, yes, I'm, um, yes, that's it. No, bye. <laughs>